Spanakopitas, crispy phyllo wrapped around spinach and feta cheese. I've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil, a cup of onion that I've let saute for about five minutes just until it gets really tender. You don't want it to turn brown. I'm gonna add three scallions. And just let them cook for another few minutes. I've got frozen spinach that I've defrosted. You need a huge pot of fresh spinach to make this amount of spinach for the dish. Okay, right into the bowl. I used two 10 ounce packages of frozen spinach defrosted. Okay, let's see how the onions and scallions are doing. Just want them tender and not too browned. This is one of those really versatile dishes. You can put anything you like in or take anything out. If you don't like feta, you can just do it with spinach, but it's sort of a classic Greek combination. Let's give that a little stir. Okay, next is four eggs. Just beat them lightly. This is what's gonna bind it all together. Three tablespoons of dry breadcrumbs. In this case, I actually use the store-bought dry breadcrumbs. You want, want them to absorb a little of the moisture from the spinach so the spanakopitas don't get watery. Three tablespoons of freshly grated Parmesan. I actually grind it in a food processor. It gives it just the right texture. One teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Two teaspoons of salt. I want to make sure it's really well seasoned. One teaspoon of pepper. I have three tablespoons of pine nuts. I sauteed them dry in a pan, just on very low heat, about five minutes, until they're really nutty and golden brown. So it's about two cups of feta, about 12 ounces. I'll just give it a big toss. So spanakopita is a really a savory strudel. I use strudel dough, which is phyllo, and wrap it around the filling. So this is phyllo dough. Good news is you don't have to make it. It comes in the freezer and I just defrost it overnight in the refrigerator. It's very flaky. So I've got one piece of phyllo dough. I'm just brush it with butter. I melted a quarter of a pound of butter for all of this. It doesn't have to be perfect, just lightly. And if it tears a little bit, don't worry about it. And then I'm gonna put dry breadcrumbs, sprinkle it with dry breadcrumbs, just enough, not really thickly, but just enough so the next piece of phyllo dough slides right on. If you don't do the breadcrumbs, what happens is it'll just stick and you'll never get it to slide on. And again, butter gets easier as it gets thicker. Sprinkle it with breadcrumbs. Another layer of phyllo dough. I'm gonna do four layers. Brush it with butter. The last one you actually don't have to have breadcrumbs on because you're not putting another layer of phyllo dough on top. So now I'm going to turn it this way, lengthwise, and cut it right down the middle in half. If I were making appetizers, I'd cut it smaller than this. They end up triangles, and I'll show you how it works. So exactly one third of a cup of filling, that's the perfect amount, just on one corner on the bottom. And just fold it right over in a triangle, and then fold it straight, and by the time you're done, you'll see it's completely enclosed and then I'm just gonna put it right on the sheet pan. My friend Dwyer and I are giving a housewarming party for our friends, the Greenwalds, who just moved into this fabulous house. Well, it's a surprise. They know what they're, we're having a party, but they, what they don't know is what we're having for dinner, and we're going Greek. First, I'm doing spanakopitas, and Dwyer's doing a nice Greek fruit dessert. I'm brushing them with butter so they get nice and browned and absolutely delicious, and then you don't always have to do this, but I like to. So I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little coarse salt. I just think it looks like it has more flavor, and actually, it does have more flavor. Into the oven, 375 degrees for 30 minutes. These are gonna be big, puffed, delicious spanakopita triangles. 